Search and rescue operations in the immediate aftermath of the collapse were tense and traumatic, and not just for the victims. First responders and law enforcement officials spend their days tending to the urgent needs of the community. And following an extreme event like in Davenport, the mental and emotional stress can start to weigh on them. Local 5's Megan McPherson explains how first responders take care of themselves and one another after traumatic events. Every June marks a time in the law enforcement community when mental health is moved to the forefront. Since 2014, the U.S. Senate has declared June as National PTSD Awareness Month. It's been just over two weeks since part of a six-story apartment building fell in Davenport, which left three people dead and at least nine people injured. Trauma situations like these, where first responders are freeing people trapped under rubble or administering extreme first aid, can have lasting effects on a person's mental health. But the Des Moines Fire Department has developed a peer support program for those who deal with the impacts of trauma exposure, which happens often in the profession. We just make sure that our members of our Des Moines Fire Department are plugged into the resources they need. So whether it's just talking to us or being directed to a counselor, um, whether it be a, a, a clinical psychologist that can address those needs, or you know just talking to us, we make sure they're plugged into the right places. Now, the Iowa Concern Hotline also offers 24-7 support for Iowans in need, including first responders. Anyone seeking assistance can call and speak with a trained staff member to get the help that they need. In Des Moines, Megan McPherson, Local 5 News. Back to you. Megan, thank you.